Previously on 24. GSTT. I mean, previously on GSTT. Day number two of the Ridex GS Transylvania Tour. Today is not a loop day anymore. We've got about 280 kilometers to do. Again, a lot of that is on off-road. That's not really gonna help a lot of the people that decided to stay late last night and party. Me not included. I'm a good boy. So let's not waste any more time and get going. Today's destination would be the city of Cluj. Known for its vast architectural richness, its great cultural value, and of course, being one of Romania's largest student cities, its great nightlife. 9 am was the agreed time to set off. At around 9.30, most of us were almost ready to depart. Final preparations in hand, we eventually started the day's adventure. The first part of the day thankfully was mainly tarred roads, giving some a chance to wake up properly, others to find their gloves, all while enjoying the beauty of rural Romania. If you happen to find yourself riding in Romania, you might see some out of the ordinary things, but uh, don't be concerned they are absolutely normal here. To take in the country's beauty even more, some decided to take a break in the middle of the road. Berlin, France? Berlin. Care capital Anglii? Berlin. Adolf, te rog frumos să abțini tu. Uite, vă așteptam, că am zis că bă, dacă se racești pe asfalt, știu eu, scapă unul motorul, să-l ajutăm. Ce băieți, bă, 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 bă
After a quick fill up and a short break, we started riding on what I now call the road from hell. In the beginning it seemed great, no potholes, flat terrain, but when the truck started going by it really deserved its name. The dust they kicked up was impossible to see through, went everywhere on your clothes, on your bike and the trucks weren't driving slowly in the least. Soon it became clear this was a mining road leading to some sort of mine. This would explain all the trucks. Nobody had a problem with us riding through their mines so this seemed like a normal thing to them. When you find such an amazing place in the wilderness, it is a pity not to have your lunch break here. Now, I'm sure Romania has engine powered ferry boats, but this wasn't one of them. Now for the next couple of hours the motorcycle took a back seat in our adventure and Romania's amazing beauty became the principal actor. Mixing first world amenities with old school traditions and unbridled natural beauty is really something difficult to pull off.
At the next rest area, a couple of riders were trying to fix a flat. Ai du toate? Hai să vedem dacă funcționează ingineria asta. Hei, și acum asta zice că ar trebui să fie ceva de genul ăsta. They had gotten some sort of new fixer flat invention off of Amazon and were trying to figure out how to use it. Dar nu mai trebuie să desfacem, de ce să facem? Da. S-a dus. Da, da, a trecut. Ai necater? <laughs> when that inevitably failed, we resorted to the tried and tested plugs and got going again. The last stretch to our destination was done in a more hurried pace since we were dead tired by now. But that didn't stop us from any photo opportunities. Arriving at our home base, some of us had some well-deserved beers while others, weirdly enough, started dismantling their bikes again. We spent some time in the evening chatting about the day's adventure and then quickly went off to bed like tired little children. Tomorrow would be another long day of riding and oh boy were we excited. Well that's it for this episode everyone. If you want to join us next year the link is in the description below. If you've enjoyed this episode give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to catch the next one.